Welcome people. So I had some time this weekend to work on my engine, a particular editor. So a thing I wanted to change for quite some time is to enable a, a bottom bar in the editor that shows you some options of uh, editing. So one thing you have to do when editing a scene is to switch between collision modes where you can select the uh, collisions like this bit, bit here and non-collision mode where you can create the uh, interact with the meshes itself and this switch back forward pressing C constantly. So to make it more intuitive how to use without having to memorize the shortcuts, I added these options in the bottom menu bar. So you can see a bottom that says show collisions by pressing it. You switch back and forth and by show mesh you can go back and forth, change these bits. Uh, we probably have to press C to do this, and you can see the menu will change and update as you do these things. So, secondly, to actually uh, edit bits in the scene, you have to select objects in the uh, in the scene graph and interact with them. But wasn't entirely clear what you do uh, to select faces or edges or vertices. So before they were all hardcoded to actual uh, keys, so V for uh, vertices, E for edges, F for faces, and O for entire objects, uh, and escape will bring you back to selecting nothing. Uh, but to make it more intuitive, I added these options at the very bottom here of the menu bar. So here, if I select nothing, you can select this icon here, select objects is this one, select faces is this little one, the edges is over here, and lastly, vertices is this one over here. So this will allow people who maybe at one point want to use this editor uh, can just use the interface without having to memorize these uh, these button presses. So the buttons themselves, the uh, the art for it, I made myself, which is glorious programmer arts. So let me show you how that's done. So I created. Let's see the reasons. There we go. So I got like a tiny atlas map, uh, it looks like this. So here we've got the symbol for selecting type objects, for selecting a face, selecting an edge, and selecting a vertex. Uh, so when I create the buttons, I made this into like four quarters, and assign each button a UV um, UV mapping that corresponds to these uh, these symbols, which are the ones you can see over here like being really tiny. So because they're very tiny they don't look as bad as they look in the image. So it does a job, I'm quite happy with it. Um, so that's all I've got for you today. Not a lot of uh, work being done. So hopefully got a big update in the coming, uh, coming weeks but at the same time I am expecting a baby so I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna get in the coming months to work on my uh, en engine slash editor. So I'll leave it here. Hope you enjoy and hopefully see you guys soon. Take care.